अरे यार अब ये फिट ट्यूबर मेरी चाय न बंद करा दे चाय पी पी के अपना शरीर खराब होता है चाय पीने वालों को भूख नहीं लगती जिनको भूख नहीं लगेगी शरीर मजबूत नहीं होगा कमजोर होगा कमजोर होगा तो बीमारियां तो आप या तो डिसाइड कर लो कि जिंदगी भर ब्लड प्रेशर की गोलियां खाके जिंदा रहना है तो चाय पीते रहिए और अगर जो नहीं खानी है तो चाय पहले छोड़िए क्या सांस भी नहीं छोड़ दू अरे भाई परेशान मत हो मैं जरा डिटेल में बताता हूँ yeah. Tea and coffee are the two most popular beverages consumed in India today. As for a major chunk of population, tea and coffee have become an inseparable part of their daily diet. But which one is healthier? Is it tea or coffee? In this video, I'll put forward what is modern science take about them and what Ayurveda has to say about tea and coffee. I will also share with you my perspective on it. So if you drink tea, coffee or both, then this might just be the video for you. Stay tuned. Hello friends welcome to Fit Tuber Tea versus coffee To begin with you should be aware of the fact that both tea and coffee were not consumed in India until a few centuries ago While the tea culture in India was introduced by the British in the year 1836 coffee came to India well before the East India Company through an Indian Sufi saint named Baba Budan in the year 1670 And today tea and coffee have become such an inseparable part of people's diet that they fail to start their day without the dose of it but should you be drinking them daily which is the better choice let us find out according to modern science both tea and coffee are non alcoholic flavored beverages which are safe for drinking yes actually there have been quite a few scientific studies backing that both tea and coffee have health benefits all the varieties of tea are packed with antioxidants which eliminate the free radicals boosting immunity reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes and heart attack tea also has a compound called egcg which helps shrink the fat cells here it is important to talk about green tea versus black tea although green tea is marketed as one heavenly drink for weight loss by the companies but even according to modern science the only difference between them is that black tea is fermented while green tea isn't as a result the natural amount of antioxidants and egcg is higher in green tea coming back to coffee the latest reports of modern scientists on coffee suggest that it too can help in reducing the risk of various types of cancers diabetes alzheimers and parkinsons disease having said all this modern science does warn on the excessive consumption of tea and coffee this is obviously because both these beverages have chemical compounds like caffeine and tannin coffee is higher in caffeine and tea has more of tannin while tannin prevents the absorption of iron in the body making it vulnerable to anemia it also leads to discoloration of the teeth caffeine on the other hand is a stimulant that robs the calcium of the bones instantly increases the heart rate and blood pressure basically caffeine is a mild drug which gives you instant energy and then suddenly crashes it is addictive too once you get habituated to it you can't do without it this is the reason you might have heard people complaining that don't talk to me until i have my morning cup of coffee i can't work without coffee on my desk Here let's compare regular coffee with green coffee. This is another attempt by the companies to replicate the success of green tea. Again green coffee beans are the coffee beans that have not yet been roasted. As a result green coffee beans contain a higher amount of chlorogenic acid which is known to have some health benefits. So comparatively green coffee beans have more positives but the downsides are also the same if consumed too much. So how much is too much you may ask. Well the modern science is quite liberal with the amount of tea and coffee that you can consume every day it says that you won't be facing any major side effects until you are not having more than 4 cups of tea or coffee daily but before you go and grab your cup of coffee there is a catch there is a bad news for you if you are having a habit of drinking tea or coffee first thing in the morning in accordance with the modern medical science tea and coffee work best for you if they are consumed 30 minutes after a meal breakfast or lunch 
Tea and coffee are best avoided after 5 pm as they may disturb your sleep cycle. So the modern medical science is clear that both tea and coffee are good for you as long as you do not overdo with them. Keep a check at your sugar serving and drink them at the right time. Coffee is definitely higher in caffeine and hence more addictive. Now let us see what Ayurveda has to say about these two popular beverages. First of all, Ayurveda has a simple funda for any food. If a particular food item doesn't grow within the 100 km radius from your location, that food item should not be a part of your daily diet. And for tea and coffee, this holds true for a major chunk of Indian population. Now talking generally about tea and coffee, Ayurveda terms them extremely drying and something that increases heat in the body. This is the reason in India, chai has always been served with milk in it. According to Ayurveda, tea and coffee are highly acidic and disturb the gut health. Ayurveda also cautions that tea and coffee should only be consumed when the kapha element of the body increases. Putting that simply, if you are down with fever, having runny nose, oily skin, suffering from cold and cough or sinus, it's only in these conditions tea and coffee can be consumed in little quantity as medicine. Ayurveda strictly prohibits stimulating addictive substances like caffeine for daily usage. Although Ayurveda has a much better substitute to offer which is rather alkaline, controls the blood sugar level and is excellent for the heart. It is Arjun tea. Arjun tea is prepared from the bark of Arjun tree. Arjun tea has many benefits and absolutely no side effects. It can be prepared just like you make tea with milk. It actually is Indian chai in true sense. Even better is that you can consume it as your morning bed tea. It is easily available as well. So Ayurveda is firm as to why tea and coffee are medicinal and should not be consumed daily. It suggests a better substitute in the form of Arjun tea which has numerous benefits without any side effects to keep your body, mind and soul healthy. What's my take on tea versus coffee? Let's be honest, tea and coffee have become such an integral part of our diet today that omitting them completely is kind of sacrilegious. Although if you are at a point where you can't work normally without tea and coffee, isn't it alarming? Isn't it an addiction? Can't we not choose health over taste? Of course, I understand that it's not easy to stop consuming them at once. Having said that, I strongly believe that one can easily begin replacing them with some real good options which serve the same purpose but do not adversely affect the mind and body in any way. Definitely, Arjun tea is great. I have consumed it both with milk and without milk. Really liked it. You must try it once. Then sometimes I drink a herbal concoction made out of boiling basil leaves, ginger, black pepper, and cloves. Once ready, I sweeten it with honey or jaggery powder. It tastes so refreshing and even looks like black tea. Then hot chocolate is another go-to option. Simply boil the milk and mix half a teaspoon of natural cocoa powder in it. High in magnesium, it gives you the much needed boost of energy. I can any day replace tea coffee with hot chocolate without compromising on taste and effect. Then there are times when we just feel like drinking something hot. Trust me, in those cases even hot water works so well and is also easily available in our offices. So my stand is clear that if you want to attain the optimum level of physical health and mental well-being then stay away from stimulating drinks like tea and coffee altogether. Switch to healthier alternatives instead. But if tea and coffee are more than a drink to you then there is no reason why you should not switch to decaffeinated coffee. With 97% less caffeine content decaf coffee will taste almost the same but more won't have such a stimulating effect. Although it does pose some problems but you are still in a better state. Likewise, you should also make an attempt to sweeten them with jaggery powder or thread mishri. Not only are they alkaline which will neutralize the acidic effect of tea and coffee to some extent but will also keep you away from the nutritionless solids which we call sugar. Just the taste or taste with health the choice is yours. I have handpicked some of the best products as discussed and have linked them down in the description box for you to buy. If you are looking for a drink which has 20 times the value of beneficial antioxidants than green tea, then Auric promises you to deliver that with their beauty box which contains a beverage each for skin, hair and weight loss. Made solely out of Ayurvedic herbs along with tender coconut water and refreshing fruit juice, they are much better than other packaged drinks available in the market. What impresses me is that they have not added any artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors, no colors, no preservatives at all. 100 ml of Auric will give you just 14 calories. Auric has derived a weight balance drink out of well-known herb for fat burning, Garcinia 
kombucha along with beetroot haldi black salt and jamun they have also launched a drink for improved hair that is enriched with brahmi amla and aloe vera for reducing hair fall you can now purchase them by clicking on the link down in the description box auric is offering a special discount of 25% only for the fit tuber community so friends that's all for this video i hope you found it to be helpful if yes then please show me your support by giving this video a big thumbs up what next would you like to see in this series let me know in the comment section you can now support my work on patreon so that i can bring more well researched videos for you please do remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me you can also follow me on instagram where i regularly do q and a sessions my name is vivek i thank you so much for watching